Welcome back. Our next guest is one of our favorites here in Houston Life, and she shares her stories of love, life, and pain through music. That's right. We are talking from season 12 of The Voice and our friend Stephanie Rice back in Houston Life. Thanks hey so much for being here. Thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure to be here. We on love it. Life on the road, by the way. You have been so busy since The Voice. <laughs> and you were chatting with me. It's a good me. thing. It's a good thing. It's a very good thing. You're all over the place. You just headlined Pride in Texarkana. Yeah, I went back home, and we had our second ever Pride Parade, and they asked me to be the Grand Marshal, and it was such an honor to be able to lead, be able to lead like 400 people who had the bravery to come out and, you know, be proud. That is so awesome. And to be home for you, I know that was emotional. Had to be. I, I, I talked with the crowd and I was giving a speech and, and I, was, I was just being honest with them. And I said, you know, to, to be quite honest, as I was pulling up into town, I just had all these flashbacks of a lot of painful memories. And, uh, but I said that today, that day was the start where Texarkana represents hope and change for me now. Well, and for people who have been living under a rock who might not know why, uh, <laughs> where the source of this pain came from, Stephanie was disowned by her family when she came out of the closet. And now, today, you have used your music and now your platform to help inspire other people. You just were part of the Red Dinner. You were one of the keynote speakers yes. at U of H. Can you explain why this organization is so important? So the Alumni Association began recognizing a problem that a lot of LGBTQ students who are attending the university would come out and then be disowned by their family, which really made it financially impossible for them to finish their degree. And I was in that same situation at 18 years old. And the Alumni Association, recognizing that problem, decided to do something about it, and they began a gala called the Red Dinner, and it raises money for an emergency crisis fund mm -hmm. that will be able to put students through college and finish their degree despite their sexual orientation. That is awesome, because students, if they've been disowned by their parents, they can't sign yeah. for financial aid because right. their parents right. won't sign for that. Yeah, and it also helps with room and board. I mean, they have no place to live. I mean, it's just a, it's a, it's a problem, and f as far as that the association knows, it's the only university in the country that has an emergency crisis fund like this. And I was able to come back and tell my story because it's this, it is my story. Absolutely, you've lived it. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, now you also have another event at the Health Museum coming up, right? That's on Thursday. I'm, I'm particularly really excited about this because it's the first time I'll be able to talk about my science background and my music background. So there's a biorhythm exhibit there that explores the relationship between body and the music through science. So I'm the, the perfect candidate <laughs> to talk about um, what it's like for me to write music through a scientific mind. Very cool. And so I'll be performing and also doing a Q&A afterwards. Okay, awesome. and before we let you sing, we want to remind people also, Stephanie is performing at Pride right here in Houston on Saturday, June 23rd. And in the meantime, if you want to follow her, you can always visit stephaniericemusic.com. And I believe you're going to sing Let It Burn? Let It Burn. All right, Stephanie, All right. thanks so much for joining us today. Take it away. Thank you. Oh. 